Lovely little Fulvia just arrived here, guys. Real bonny little thing, very solid. In fact, I'll just get the keys and fire it up while I'm on. We're doing these videos, and I'll give you a bit of a tour around it. Bear with me. Typically, doing things uh, wrong way around. That's uh, nice and quiet in there. That's freezing cold, guys. It's been sat outside here. Where's a manifold? Just to prove how cold it is. Can't find one for looking. I can't find one for looking. Um, anyway, you have to believe me. Freeze it's, uh, it's freezing cold. So, have a good bit of a tour around the engine bay. There's your VIN number and so forth there. All in the wings there are really good. Look, they're nice. Chassis legs and so forth down there. What a lovely little lamp, yeah. And bonnet. And I just sat in it a moment ago, just when I uh, was opening the doors and getting it ready for this video. And uh, it's strange how all these manufacturers have their own unique smell. You get in a Ford, it smells Ford. You get in a Vauxhall, it smells Vo Vauxhall. Um, and this smells Alfa Romeo, which might sound a bit alien to some, but I'm sure others that know their cars will relate exactly to what I've just said there. As long as they're low mileage and they haven't been messed about with, they can lose that aroma and that smell if they're messed around with too much. Uh, if they're all stripped out and fully rebuilt, and you, you lose that. Not only obviously do you lose that originality, you also lose that unique manufacturer aroma. Now I'm pleased to say that this little car still has that unique manufacturer aroma. And I just jumped in it there and it just took me right back. My father used to drive, used to ride, used to drive, ride, used to uh, run, was the word I'm looking for. Used to run quite a few different Alfa Romeos. You've heard me talk about Alfa Suds and so forth. And um, as soon as I jumped in it then, that took me straight back. Now the dash is all good. I've taken loads of photographs of the underside of the doors and shuts. Look at the door shuts. I mean, they're fantastic. They're nice. Carpets are good, pedals, seats, steering wheel. The whole lot. Nice in there. That little door bottom's had a bit of repair down there. I don't think you can tell from the... Oh, just a few little imperfections there. How we doing, mate? Okay? Yeah, good. Inner wings there. Just a little bit of surface stuff on there. You can be keeping making that rubber make some sweat that's the trouble with these but the boot lid's good let's not forget this is Italian <laughs> so, uh, with a lifespan expectancy of about six months what are you after guys oh okay um, just, Bob, move, just move that cone and bob it in that um, yard for us, look. There we are. Lovely little car. Now, it's here nice and early. Look at the rear balance and all that's real good. It's here nice and early. We've got almost a month leading up to our next sale. So you've got a month of massive window to come down and have a look. Make sure it's one for you. Real straight little car that is, isn't it? So yeah, as I was saying, sorry with the phone ringing and people interrupting. Uh, we've got a month, got a big window. A month, come down, have a look. It's here at Pickering. If you're making a purposeful trip, guys, I just ask you to um, touch base with the office just to make sure that we're about. 
I mean, it's funny times at the moment, isn't it, with COVID outbreaks going on and uh, and so forth. So uh, Thornton Dale always takes priority for staff, and this is down at Pickering. So uh, if we have to pull some staff out from somewhere, then they're uh, they're pulled out from here at Pickering and they go down to Thornton. So if you're going to make a purposeful trip, just for the sake of a quick phone call or an email, make sure that um, we're about. Thank you.